So once we define the process, now keep in mind that if you're a photographer who, if you're a wedding photographer, but you also shoot families, you're going to have to create a process for each one of your photography principles because what your wedding client needs is not the same thing that your family client needs, your boudoir client, so on and so forth. And as you start to do that, you'll be able to find the different places where they overlap. So for me as a wedding photographer, I know that I'm going to have the wedding, I'm going to have engagement, which seems like it would be a given, but not all not all wedding clients want engagement session. Sometimes they come to me and they've already done an engagement session. Sometimes they just don't care about the engagement session at all. But we'll have wedding, we'll have engagement, um, we'll have, there's an opportunity for bridal boudoir. Um, there's an opportunity for trash to dress. There's an opportunity for anniversary session, those types of things. And as you start to think about the different ways that you can then um, have cl clients cross from one service that you offer into another service, then that helps you to be able to increase your overall earnings because now they've already booked you for a wedding. They know, like, and trust you. and it's easier to be able to sell to a client that you already have a relationship with than someone who you've never dealt with before. So what I like to do is I like to write out lists. Actually, I, personally, I like to start with mind mapping. So I'm not sure if you all are familiar with, with what mind mapping is, but basically you just write your objective, whatever your goal is inside of the middle, and then you make little branches off of it and write out all of the ways that will help you to reach that particular objective. And maybe for maybe for whatever your objective is, you write off a branch and maybe that might have a branch off of that as well. That's quick and dirty mind mapping, brainstorming to be able to get things down on paper. And then I'll go in and I'll make lists to be able to organize um, whatever my thoughts are, as opposed to just a bunch of stuff, you know, on a piece of paper, I'll go in and I'll organize it down in list form. And then from there, that helps me, that basically gives me what my entire workflow is. So is that making sense? If that's making sense to everybody, then drop a five in the chat for me. Now, keep in mind that throughout this process, we're we're really trying to figure out ways that we can you know have different touch points with the clients like i said before has anybody ever heard the term or the saying that you have to like a customer has to see you about seven times before they decide to take whatever action so if a person wants to buy a car there has to be in on average seven touches before that person goes ahead and and pulls the trigger on purchasing that car, that house, those shoes, photography services, right? So in order to do that, throughout my mind mapping and, and workflow process, I'm keeping those types of things in mind and I'm being sure to, to plan for those major touch points. 